Sopahana Exotics and welcome back to another episode. As you guys guessed by the thumbnail and as you guys can see by this, we got new snakes. Very excited to show you guys. Uh, these tubs came with them, but yeah. So the first snake that I'm very excited to show you guys is this young female Taiwanese rat snake. Now she's going at about say a decent 1.2, 1.3 meters. Now we already have an adult pair, as you guys know, but um, I'm looking to complete a trio. So this female, not this year, obviously, not next year, maybe the year after, maybe next year, we'll see. But then this female, ding, 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 will be part of the trio. So that's pretty, pretty exciting news. Um, let's go ahead and put her in her little tub. So I just prepared a simple tub for her. It's basically just a tub with some water in and heat. So all the basic requirements, I just want to monitor her for now. All that, yada, yada. There she goes. So tomorrow, I'm giving them that still then tomorrow we're gonna be giving them a soap, make sure they get all the hydration, etc. etc. You know, transport stress, wada wada wada. Part of that, I'm actually gonna be giving them um Ripti Boost. So as you guys know, this is a very trusted product that I like to use. It's basically just a probiotic and electrolyte, so you can either give it to the snake by injecting it into their food, which is a video I did about it right over here, you guys can check it out, or you can do it via giving them a soak, which is another video I'll be doing, showing you guys how to soak a snake in the probiotics. Okay, and then the next two snakes is gonna be the Western Diamondback Battle Snake Pair. That's right guys, we got more Cryptalis, Cryptalis Atrox. Now I've got two tubs down there that's gonna be prepared for them in a second, just if you wanna get substrate in, water bowls, hides, no, substrate water balls, and then that's gonna be it for now. So see you guys in a second. All right guys, so the next snakes, um, I'm actually pretty excited for them, right? I've never kept um, Aatrox before. I have kept um, Duresis for an extremely long time. Most of them got big, got pretty plastic very quick, which is something that kind of got boring, you know? The fact that they get so habituated. Remember, we talk about habituation with all things wildlife. So you don't talk about tame, you talk about habituated, which is basically being used to a routine. So yeah, like I was saying, the Doresis, they got so, so, so placid, so habituated with my movements, that while well, they kind of get boring. I still do have my Doresis pair, but like I said, they kind of got boring. Now what's nice about Aatrox is they usually stay fired up. So let's see, you don't actually want to open up a venomous tub this high, but I want to have a clear look at them. Nice. Not the prettiest female. This is the female over here. All right, let's get her out. Let's just close that back up. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not the absolute prettiest female. I'm going to give you guys a better view now in a second. She's got a bit of um, there's some something there on her face, so that's some stuck shit. Which looks pretty bad. Actually, this next looks pretty bad. I don't know. I could be wrong. I mean, she might just need a shed. But this snake, what's on her head? All right, let me just do this for now. If you put it in a temporary enclosure, I'm going to do a few things with her now in a second. So let's just put her there. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, she doesn't look too good. I don't know what's going on there. Um, it might be some stuck shit that's just throwing me off. I don't know. I want to examine her closely, but, but yeah, she doesn't look very good at all. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Um, yeah, that really sucks. All right, anyways, moving on. Uh, so this is a male. Now nah, he's nice. He seems to be a peach albino face, which is very pretty. How's a boy? How's a boyky? Ah, oh, you're very nice. He's a bit on the skinny side, 
that he's a very, very beautiful Aatrox male. Yeah, no, he is ridiculously nice. That is a nice specimen. Check out that rattle, guys. So if you guys want to learn a bit about how the rattle works, Bryce and I did a video the other day. It should soon come live on his channel, but you guys can check it out. We were sexing a bunch of snakes, sexing the Doresas to just confirm if they're a pair or not. And then we spoke a bit about rattlesnakes and their tails. So I'm not going to go too deep into that again. You guys can go check it out over there. But yeah, no, I'm very happy with the male. Boy. That's a beautiful, beautiful male. See, let's get him back. All right. Have some water there. There you go, buddy. Welcome to your new humble abode. That's a very beautiful male. Very nice. Look at that impressive rattle. All right. So that's the male sorted. Now, I really want to see what's going on with that female. So, uh, give me a second, guys. Let me just prepare something. Okay, guys. So, not very excited about this part, but let's give her a little checkup quickly. Like I said, guys, it could just be the shit that's throwing me off. Put it down there for a second. So that. Hi, girl. Hi, girlie. Hi. Hi. Yeah, she's not happy with me at all. Which is pretty understandable. Snakes do not like being lifted up. I don't know what I'm seeing here. Come on, open up. Hi. Hi. Let's go of that, please. She bit into the towel. And I have a hard time. There you go. All right, now open up wide, please. All right, I don't know if you guys can see in there. It looks like that one fang gland might be a bit swollen. It either looks like she's got some starting stomatitis or she swallowed a bunch of substrate. But for the most part, the mouth is still a healthy pink. So I'm fine with that. I don't see any clear signs of respiratory infections and things like that. But it's very clear that she had a very, very bad shed. So, yeah, we'll just have to monitor her very, very closely. All right, now if you just take a step back on her release. All right. Okay, now. Yeah, she had a very bad shed. Um, she looks a bit on the skinnier side. Now, I know it's hard for you guys to tell if she's on the skinnier side because she's flattening out the entire body of us. But um, yeah, trust me, she looks a bit on the skinnier side. So I'm wondering if she's been eating good. I don't know. We'll see, the tongue's still active, you know, it's not stuck, so there's no, no starting symptoms of respiratory. It's a good yawn. Mm, I could be on the paranoid side as well, guys. I think what the best thing's gonna be is we give her a good proper soak. And then after I give her a proper soak to reevaluate her. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna close this video here. I'm gonna film another video where we give her a soak and give her another another thorough checkup. But for now, you know all exotics. You guys know I love you. You guys know you love that rattle sound. So see you later and peace out.